How you doing, everybody? Jeff Joniak with Bears Area Scout Scott Hamill on the selection in round five of Missouri's Larry Forum. Big guy, 6'4 and 7'8, 322 by way of Detroit, Michigan. Scott, good to have you alongside. And congratulations on this selection. Uh, I start with Detroit, not Missouri, because anytime you get a guy from Detroit, uh, you're probably getting a guy that's super tough. I mean, you've had plenty of guys come in the league from that area and show that kind of toughness. Uh, tell us about Larry Borum and his roots to Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, um, so Larry went to um, Brother Rice in Detroit there, and you're absolutely right. Um, tough city, tough kid, um, tough family. A um, little bit of a different story. He was kind of an under-recruited kid. They found him at a, at a high school camp. Um, one of their assistant coaches was there and kind of stumbled upon him randomly um, and offered him. And so that was it for Larry. He ended up heading to Mizzou and um, had a nice career for him and ended up declaring early after the season. Yes, a redshirt junior. He is 22 years of age, uh, but he also had a basketball background to him. He was an AAU kid, so loved basketball. Was that his first love? Because it sounds like when he got to high school as a freshman, they say, hey, listen, big man, uh, why don't you come out and try some football? Is that how it worked <laughs> out? And what will that basketball background do for him at the offensive line position in the NFL? Yeah, you know, so Larry's obviously a, a massive human being. He's been as high as 350. They like their linemen um, really big in Mizzou. Um, he got down to about 322 for his, uh, for his pro day. So he's really good at managing his weight. Um, but to your point, the athlete, even though he is so big, he's got that basketball background. He's got really light feet. Um, he's really good with his hands. He's really coordinated. Um, and you kind of see the basketball player in him show up on tape uh, football-wise as well. So it's, it's kind of a, a nice blend of, of both sports. And we're talking about positional versatility here again, I would imagine, because, you know, if, yep. they, if they loaded him up at 350, then he could play, you know, inside. But he's at 322. That, that sounds like a tackle body for me at 6'4 and 7 eighths. So can he do both? And do you what do you project him uh, for the Bears' purposes in their scheme? Yeah, absolutely. That's a big reason why, why we really like Larry, um, his versatility. He's played right tackle. He's played left tackle. He's played right guard and left guard in games at Mizzou. So he's got experience doing all four of those, everything but center. Um, we view him as a tackle first, probably, um, but he definitely has the versatility, the size, the strength, everything that you would need for him to move inside. Um, and more importantly, on top of that, he's, he's an intelligent guy that, that can manage um, cross training, be able to handle both positions. So um, he's not a guy that will get overwhelmed having to play multiple positions. He's, he's a really sharp dude. Is there anything about him that uh, stuck out with you from a competitive point of view that you keep thinking about or you went back to or when you when you put his tape on to sell him to the building and the staff okay this is a guy i'm gonna stand at the table for and here's why there's something about this guy that you know i saw in a very specific moment or even a conversation or or what you learned about him from his coaches yeah i think it's two things one the versatility to be able to be able to play both tackle and guard like we talked about um, and then secondly, what really stood out to me about him is his consistency. Um, you, you know, initially you see a guy that's 350, 340 playing tackle. Um, for us as scouts, you say, oh, well, we're probably going to project him inside and he's only going to be a guard. But then you watch him in pass pro and, and this guy is nothing but consistent playing outside at tackle. Um, I think he only gave up two sacks in his career, which is really impressive. So, um, you know, the, the fact that he just, he shows up and produces day in and day out. Um, he has the tape to back up everything. And um, he's he's just nothing but consistent. There's no other way to describe it with this guy. From I'm here in the Alabama game, he was very good, 44 snaps, uh, pass, pa pass blocking snaps and no pressures, no hits, no nothing against Alabama. Uh, am I right on that? And was that a, a game that really showed what he's potentially capable of? Yeah, uh, actually that was the game I went to. So I saw I saw that game live. Okay. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you're absolutely right. He, um, he, he, you know, if you look at his PFF stats, that, that's something that really stand out. Now statistically, he, um, he gives up very few sacks um, and yeah, against Top competition, Alabama obviously is one of the best programs in, in America and the SEC as a whole, top to bottom, is, is really obviously top talent. And so um, he went up against the best every single week and produced. Um, and, and we see that translating really well at the next level for us. All right. Lastly, uh, have you figured out what makes him tick in your research? 
what makes Larry tick. You know, he's a competitive guy. I think he's one of those guys that off the field, he, um, you know, he's he's composed, he's he's even keeled, and easy going. Uh, but then as soon as he puts on that helmet, I think you see the uh, he he can flip the switch and he can he can turn that mean nasty mauling type of offensive lineman that we like here. So. Yeah, eight offensive linemen, whether undrafted or drafted, in the last three years on that depth chart right now. A lot of big boys up there, and uh, looks like you guys are building it up on the offensive line. Scott Hamill, the Bears area scout. On Larry Borum out of Missouri, fifth round pick of the Bears. Thanks for joining us, Scott. All right, thanks, Jeff.